Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, I prepare quick and flavorful tomato anchovy pasta, and it's open year-round, the deck hockey rink at Wick Recreation Area. But first, Numbers Brewing Company in Lisbon. Right in downtown Lisbon on Beaver Street, you're going to find Numbers Brewing Company. And Randy Schneider is the director, excuse me, of marketing and promotions. And this place just keeps expanding and expanding and you have got a great place here. Thank you. You know, we, uh, when we first start off with something, you don't know how it's going to go. You know, it's like you, you're like, oh, you know, take a game. We'll see how this whole brewery thing is going to go. And, you know, our owners, Brock and Jeremy, came up with this idea and with our other owners, Nate and Julie, and they said, hey, you know, let's take a spin at putting a brewery in Lisbon, Ohio. Well, it has it, obviously resonated. I mean, the expansion, the outdoor space. I mean, we'll give you the full tour. Before we go, where... What does numbers mean? What what does the name of the brewery come from? So it's actually a pretty common question that we get, you know, like, you know, wh- wh- where'd you come up with your name? Like, what does the numbers actually mean? Well, every one of our beer is, has, has a number. You know, we have like our 330 Blonde Ale. We obviously, 330 is popular because what area code are we in? You know, yeah. 330. You know, uh, 22 Blood Orange is like our one owner's his daughter's uh, softball number, you know? So the whole resonation of where, oh. like, these numbers are coming from have some sort of family or significance in someone's life that, you know, brews and works here. And the whole meaning behind numbers actually started with our owners and brewers, Jeremy DeBoer and Brock Beatty. Uh, they were actually in a fraternity at Bethany College. And, you know, they had this uh, frat where they had numbers and everyone was assigned a number. If you've ever been a, pre- a pledge in a sorority or a fraternity, yeah. you know, you get assigned a number. And, you know, so someone would yell numbers and lowest number had to go, you know, go move the guy's car out front or num- someone would say numbers and the next lowest guy had to go, you know, do something else that someone didn't want to do, you know, and they're like, oh. You are, you're expanded into West Virginia. Yes. And how many um, places are you in in Ohio? Right now we're in about 60 locations in Ohio and we're in about 50 in West Virginia. And it's just, you know, as I was telling you earlier, it's just hard to believe we were, we're in over 100 locations now. And it's like, wh- when did this happen? Like, when, when did it like sneak up on us? And uh, as I was telling you earlier, I was just like, I thought about it, it hit me. I'm like, wow, we're here. We, we're over 100. Like <laughs> that is amazing, and, and you're keeping it at kegs right now, so it'll be growlers yep. for take home, and then in all the establishments, it's you know through kegs. Don't you think through kegs though? That's when you keep it the freshest. Yes, absolutely, and the most and quality control. I, I do agree with that, and you know we are actually expanding into bottling here. You know, hopefully next couple of weeks. So it's just the demand is so high for the bottles. You also have other local brewers on tap here. Yes, we have a unique license as I was telling you earlier and it's it's kind of nice that we're able to support our fellow brothers and sisters in this industry and have like, we just had Penguin City beer on out of Youngstown. We consistently have uh, Birdfish yeah. on down here as well. Um, we have, you know, Paladin Brewing out of Austin Town and, you know, we're uh, actually talking to Ira who owns Noble Creature. You yeah, know, oh, have he his beer. does a great job. Oh, yeah. he does an amazing, you know, I always say, I'm going to church, you know, going to Ira's. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, let's talk about your beers here. Now, you were telling me the most uh, popular beer you sell here is your Blood Orange. It's 22 Blood Orange. That is our number one seller. And let's talk about the notes here. It's a beautiful Blood Orange color. Smells like Blood Orange. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Blood Orange. Oh, I can see. This is really sessionable. Now, is this your first time having it? No, I've had this at um, our dear friend, Rudy the Dudes. Oh, Rudy. This is on magic top tree. Magic Tree. Let's hear it for the tree. Oh, yeah. And uh, no, I've had this. I love this. I can see why this is very, very popular. Yeah, it's just so easy, I mean, to drink. I mean, if, even if you're not a typical craft beer mm-hmm. drinker, that this is something that we can introduce you to, you know, to someone who's not familiar with craft beers. Like I say, I'm only like a Bud Light or, you know, a Miller Light person. I'm like, yeah. well, hey, try the 3 3 or try the Blonde Ale. You and know, you know, it. it's not a fruit bomb, no. which a lot of people don't want too much fruit, but it's just enough. It's subtle. I, I think that's, it's really nice that way. What is one of your favorites? That, that's one of my favorites. I've actually become more of a uh, porter and stout guy that's calmed today really? in my face. I, I'm a big fan of the 414 Milk Stout. That's, uh, yes. you know, one of my favorites. Okay. And you know, the um, black IPA, mm-hmm. that is also very different. Mm. 
That is very good. That's a good stout. Yeah, it's, it's like That's so a smooth. really good stout. Very smooth. My problem is I really like them all. <laughs> is, that a, is that a problem? Uh, no, it's a great problem. You should stop <laughs> buying more often. Stop <laughs> buying more often. <laughs> is, is that a problem that I like at all? No, I think that is a really nice stout. It's very smooth. It has a nice finish. Mm -hmm. um, and like National Police Week's the third week in May, and, or excuse me, second week in May. So every, every day we're gonna change it up this year. Last year we had a uh, table for fallen police officers, you know, mm -hmm. for that week. And uh, people really respect that. We had people from Youngstown police come down yeah. here who've never been here, but they saw we were supporting the local police and they said, we wanna come support your business. People from Hancock County oh, were coming over okay. here. So this year, every single day of National Police Week that we're open, Wednesday through Saturday, we're gonna donate 10% to a different police department. So Wednesday we're gonna do St. Clair Township Police. Thursday yeah. we're gonna do the Salem K-9 unit. Uh, Friday we're gonna do the kickoff campaign for the sheriff's office. Uh, new canine unit. We're going to do a mm -hmm. kickoff campaign right here. And then Saturday, because this is our home, Lisbon Police Department, we're going to uh, do that for them as well and support support them and encourage the community to come out for that and support your local police department, support your local heroes. I mean, you never realize how many people you need until you give them a call and you're in a wreck, like, oh my God, I need, I need the police. You know, I need a, I need a fire department. Exactly. And we're all about supporting those kind of organizations and the community here. And I mean, you know, obviously, you just can't have enough craft breweries oh, locally. Right, absolutely. You know, I mean, the numbers don't lie. Yeah. I mean, we, you, you belong to the organizations, you know, there is a brotherhood, mm -hmm. and you keep expanding. You know, all the other local brewers, they keep expanding, because mm -hmm. there's a demand for it. You would never think like, you know, high demand for craft beer in the local area. Yes. You know, like, you look at us, we're expanding. You know, Birdfish did a big, big expansion. Uh, Penguin City is getting an yeah. expansion with their new brew room Ira, and everything. you know, they, and, and people, they want more, they want more, they want more. And uh, it, gratefully, you know, you guys are able to deliver. Yes, and that's nice, like, with that new system, we'll be able to keep up with the demand, you know, not just with uh, Ohio, but with West Virginia as well. And, you know, maybe Pennsylvania here in the near future, too. I don't know. Hey, numbers is knocking on the door. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Looking for local craft beers? They're right here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. How many beers do you have available, Rude the Dude? Casey, we got 41 craft beers on tap, local breweries, Ohio breweries. We have about 40 to 50 different cans and bottles in our coolers with the same local Ohio breweries. And Youngstown Beer Week, first time ever, kicks off right here yes. at the Magic Tree. April 22nd, Monday, is the uh, start of Youngstown Beer Week. We have our launch party here with our Brewers Roast. That's going to lead into the whole week, right into the Big Tap and Six Craft Beer Festival at the Metroplex. Uh, there's over 80 breweries. Uh, eight local food vendors, live entertainment. It's gonna be a great event for craft beer in the area. And it benefits making kids count. Your search is over. The largest beer selection is right here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. r &S Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at r &S Paint. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. We strive to be the best, provide the best food, the best atmosphere, and overall enjoyment 
of your dinner, lunch, or any kind of gathering you have that involves the upstairs restaurant. Your imagination is your only limitation. The customer understands that they're going to get the best food all the time. And it's great. Give it a try. I'm executive chef Tim King here at the Upstairs Restaurant. I just love food. Your home, your way. The choices are endless at Stonebridge Neighborhoods. Choose the lot and floor plan at Stonebridge or Westbury Park. Spacious single-family homes built to your specifications. Or enjoy a villa at Saybrook Point with extensive options for maintenance-free living. See for yourself. Stonebridge Neighborhoods will be your next move. Grand opening March 30th and 31st. For more information, contact Howard Hanna today. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. Find it all at Woolley Brothers, home of the famous Evening Express. Today's recipe is so easy and it comes together so quickly, you are going to love it. It's my husband Ken's pasta with tomatoes and anchovies. Delicious, very few ingredients and it comes together oh, under a half hour. And what I really like about it is when he cooks, I have to do the prep work and then clean up, but there's hardly anything to do and dinner is ready in a flash. And you're using fresh tomatoes. I'm going to use Roma's, but these are good all year long because you're cooking them in a sauce so you don't have to worry about getting the real fresh into summer tomatoes. And you just need two fresh herbs. I'm going to use a lovage from my garden, which is hearty, comes back year after year, has like a celery flavor to it, and then regular parsley. But you could also use a basil, thyme, you know, any two herbs that you'd like. And it's just so quick and easy, you're gonna love this dish. So let's go over the ingredient list and then I will make Ken's pasta with tomato and anchovies. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of pasta. I'm gonna use perciatelli. You'll need some salt, five tablespoons of unsalted butter, three oil-packed anchovy fillets, six garlic cloves thinly sliced, two to two and a half pound of medium tomatoes. I'm going to use Roma. You'll also need some fresh herbs. I'll be using parsley and lovage, but feel free to use basil, tarragon, or chives. I've dropped the pasta while we are getting the sauce ready. Now don't forget, before you drain the pasta, reserve about a cup of that pasta liquid, because we're gonna need this for the sauce. So I've melted the butter. And now I'm going to add the sliced garlic, never enough garlic, and the anchovies. And don't be squeamish about using anchovies. It really adds a nice briny taste and it just adds some extra flavor and it really doesn't make it taste fishy. So we're gonna cook these for about four to five minutes until it softens before we add the tomatoes. So now you can see the anchovies basically disintegrated, but they've left a nice browning for this garlic. And now we're going to add all of these tomatoes. We're gonna soften these, add a little salt and pepper, and it'll be about eight minutes. Yeah, eight to 10, you know, just take a look at it and they'll cook down and soften and break apart. And then we'll add some salt, not too much because we do get the salt from the anchovy. And we'll just stir this around until everything softens and comes together. Well, 
It's been about 10 minutes and it's softened beautifully and it's made its own sauce. Now remember, all this is, is butter, the juice is from the tomatoes, and some anchovies and garlic. Now I'm gonna add a little at a time the pasta. Oh, making a little bit of a mess here. And we'll stir this in and cook the pasta a little further. And we'll see how much of the pasta water we're gonna need to loosen up the sauce. This is only gonna be about a two to three minute process. And you just wanna cook this through so the pasta rewarms after you've drained it. Oh yeah, this is nicely coming together. But you know, it does look like it needs a little bit of the pasta water. So we'll add a little bit of that. Now remember, no cheese is needed for this sauce. All the flavor comes from the tomato and the garlic and then the herbs that we add at the very end before serving. Now usually Ken and I serve this directly out of the skillet. We garnish it with the herbs there, but for a nice presentation, if you're having people for dinner, put it in a pretty pasta bowl. Looks beautiful, fresh, and it's wonderful for leftovers. Um, let's see. Mmm. So simple, but packed with flavor. You're going to love it. You could go with the red, because it is a pasta, or because it's so light and delicate, I uh, am going with a lovely Pinot Gris, La Crema. Love this wine. It's very, very fresh and crisp, and it matches the fresh ingredients. So go to my website. This is a recipe you will make over and over and over again. It is Ken's Pasta with Tomatoes and anchovies. Go to my website, get that recipe. Tell me how much you like it. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. At the Vein Center and Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. That's why we provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center and Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. And now we're proud to welcome Dr. Kiesel to our practice. Call the Vein Center and Med Spa for a free consultation and see why our patients leave satisfied. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. There's a new standard in assisted living, one that combines comfort, 
luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. We've been in the Mahoning County for 70 years. We're not going anywhere. Bree and I have been in this business since we were kids. My grandpa built the business off of loyalty, honesty, and trust. My grandfather, my father, they have a legacy here. We have learned all of these great things from both of them that, you know, we will be sure to keep the legacy going into the fourth generation. Get real, get Kamara. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At Rooley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Rooley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. This is Brian Tolnar. He is the PGA director for the Mill Creek Metro Parks and of course the main golf course yep. and the par three and now you also oversee yes. the deck hockey. Absolutely. And we're in the warming house and you may remember when we had the ice rink here, it is now a hockey rink, but there's no Zamboni and there is no ice. It is, what kind of material is it made out of? Well, it's made out of what they call a copolymer surface. It's basically a combination between rubber and plastic, and it's good for 12 months out of the year. And typically, it's a surface that they use for this region of the country that has a lot of heat and a lot of cold in the winters. And so the, there's really no maintenance to it? Zero maintenance to and it. And you don't use skates? You use either, what, inline roller blades? You can use inline roller skates, you can use uh, foot, you can use scooters, you can use wheelchairs for adaptive sports. So it's got a myriad of uh, opportunity potential. I mean, you were telling me that this is the only one in the state of Ohio? This is part How did of little old Youngstown, Ohio wind <laughs> up with this? Well, there's a, there's a number of them in Pennsylvania, all part of the Pittsburgh Penguins Foundation. Uh, when Troy and Alf Coloni were with the Youngstown Phantoms, we had an opportunity to sit down with them in June of last year to discuss what we thought we could do up here. And, and lo and behold, they got their connections down at the Penguins Foundation. Yeah, a little bit, you and, think? And check, and it was, like I said, it was between us, Newcastle, and Erie, Pennsylvania, and we're, we're the first one that they've crossed the, the state of Ohio, or state lines. Well, that is, I mean, that is really something. How familiar are the people of our area with deck hockey? Well, I think there's a number of people in the Youngstown Mahoning Valley that travel to Cranberry, they travel to Pittsburgh, they travel to Cleveland to be able to participate in winter and off-season leagues and in the summer. Um, and, and part of that is to get them back here to stay in the Mahoning Valley and be able to be able to take care of the sports that they like to enjoy, whether it's whether it's roller hockey, scooter hockey, or even box lacrosse and wall soccer. It's got many Many I can't different believe aspects that. Of yeah, there. I mean, when I saw the lacrosse sticks, I, I'm not very proficient in any of those, but would you be able to substitute this for regular hockey to practice? Absolutely. Or would that, would, would that still work for reflexes and, and is it move that quickly, the puck on this kind of surface? Absolutely. There's two forms that you can play. You can use what they call a hex puck and that's for a puck on this plastic surface or you can use what they call as ball or street hockey. So it's played with a, with a round ball, probably about the size of a baseball and it moves a little bit faster than the hockey puck, but it's a good transition from you know, not having the ability to be on ice time to be able to still participate and practice your, your shot in the whole nine yards. Now, is this open to anybody so any kids can just come and, and play on this? It is. We're open 365 days a year, you know, weather pending, of course. If mm -hmm. you get snow and stuff, it may slow you down a little bit, but it's for, for 12 months of hockey, lacrosse, wall soccer, and, and adaptive sports as well. So, I mean, it gives you a myriad of opportunities to play. You know, the, the deck hockey rink itself, you know, comes with two players' benches, areas. You've got so two you penalty boxes. So you can get leagues. You, you have the leagues and everything. Absolutely. Scoreboards, scorekeepers area, and, and so on down the line. Wow. I mean, th this is really, 
I think this is cool. First of all, I didn't know we were the only ones in Ohio, which I really like that we are outstanding in something here. And are you a good player? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do you okay. transition I'm, from uh, golf <laughs> to the deck hockey? It's like Happy Gilmore, but the opposite. <laughs> okay. But no, it's, it, it's fun. You don't have to be an avid player. You can play on foot. You can play on, like I said, the inline skates or anything like that. So, I mean, you can run around on there and, and, and chase the, the puck and the ball around. I, we bring our little kid up here all the time, and he really yeah. enjoys himself to, to go out there and run. So, you really can't damage the surface. Like, maybe not, not steal spikes, or you can't right. wear your golf shoes, right? Correct. Yeah. And, um, but what else could you do on this? Uh, this well, you've got rig. box lacrosse, which is another sport that it, you know, with the walls and, and the setups with the with the, the sideboards and panels, you can play that as well as wall soccer. So it's basically a, another way, another opportunity. Our goal when we started here was to make the Wick Recreation Area the recreational hub for Youngstown, the Mahoning Valley. Yes. And part of adding, you know, the lacrosse and the deck hockey and, and the the wall soccer and adaptive stuff is in this deck hockey rink. So I mean, it, it gives us a multitude of of opportunities beyond baseball, softball, and everything else that the Wick area encompasses. And you won't really need the protective gear, do you, when, when you're playing with this? Because you don't. We suggest it that, like that, for you, your that face, you can bring a maybe? helmet or anything that you want to use just for protection. Uh, we do rent, you know, whether it be hockey sticks, multiple sizes, just like we would at the par three course. And we also rent the lacrosse sticks and, and pucks and balls as well. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.